Hello YouTube and welcome back to Be A Loser. In this video, we're going to discuss why fasting is better than calorie counting for weight loss. When you tell someone that you are fasting and losing weight, most often they will simply argue that it is because you are reducing calories. However, we already know that caloric reduction or calorie counting or eat less, move more, however you label it, it simply does not work long term. Ever wonder why there is no Biggest Loser reunion show? It's because almost all of them have put the weight back on. As anyone who has tried this type of dieting can attest, the weight always comes back. But fasting succeeds where calorie counting fails. Why? The simple answer is that there are hormonal benefits to fasting that are not present when you are continuing to eat, even in smaller amounts. It is the intermittent nature of fasting that makes it successful. It should seem obvious, but let's take a common example of what we have been told to do by numerous doctors and nutritions. Just reduce how many calories you eat per day by 500 and you should lose about a pound of fat per week. And initially it works, sure. But as we all know, the weight invariably returns. It is in fact well documented that this calorie counting method has a 98% failure rate. Yet here we are still being told over and over to do it. And we do. We try harder and still fail. And we feel like losers because we can't do it. I've discussed why it doesn't work in my Understanding Weight Gain series, but let me summarize it for you here. As you reduce the calories you eat, the body initially starts to lose weight. But over time, it is going to try to compensate and will slow your metabolism to the same number of calories you are eating, and sometimes even lower. This is when the weight will begin to come back. Even while we double our efforts, the weight keeps coming. And now we feel hungry, tired, cold, and irritable. This should be the familiar friend of most dieters and why this method fails so completely. Its failure was actually proven in the Minnesota starvation experiment, which I referenced previously in another video. And it was proven in another study done by the Women's Health Initiative. I'll link that one in the description. Now insulin sets your body set weight. So since with calories in, calories out, we are not treating insulin resistance or insulin levels at all, the body will continually try to regain weight back to the BSW. Let me restate that. When you reduce calories, your body is trying to gain weight. The hormonal stimulator of hunger, ghrelin, is produced in high amounts, and your total energy expenditure, calories out, goes down. Stated simply once more, more hunger, less energy. This is why it's a recipe for long-term failure. Excuse the pun. However, with intermittent fasting, we are reducing insulin in our bodies, and eventually this reverses insulin resistance. And as stated before, insulin controls the BSW. So as body set weight goes down during fasting, our bodies now want to lose weight Remember from our previous videos that the only way to reduce insulin is to not eat at all. So as we fast, our bodies are now helping us lose weight by decreasing appetite and increasing energy. Remember, it is the low levels of insulin and glucose that reverse obesity and promote weight loss. A recent study between intermittent fasting and calories in, calories out demonstrated this quite well. I'll link it, but again, a brief summary shows that in the fasting group, who, by the way, were basically doing Michael Mosley's 5-2 diet, this group had significant reductions in insulin levels and, more importantly, in insulin resistance. The CRAP group, remember caloric reduction is primary, this group saw basically no change in insulin levels. And as such, we're doing nothing to reduce their insulin resistance and therefore would see no weight loss benefits. This is why long term, the crap diet will always result in weight gain. It is the intermittent aspect of fasting that makes it effective. 
Your body tends towards homeostasis, that is to say it resists change. Your body will adapt to changes in order to maintain its preferred condition. Examples of this are that your body will maintain a fixed temperature of 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius no matter the temperature outside. Or that when you move from a light room to a dark room, you can't see very well at first, but your body quickly adapts and you then are able to see better in the darkness. And the same is true of weight loss. If you keep a constant diet, your body will adapt to it. That is why the intermittent nature of fasting works and is generally easier to comply with. You don't restrict some foods all of the time. You restrict all foods some of the time. And that is the difference between succeeding and failing. Okay, that will be it for this video. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, I encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'd like to thank you for watching, and until next time, keep being a loser.